Hi, my name's Kingsley from Icicle Mercenary. Today I'm going to talk through the different kind of crampons and why you might choose them for different kinds of climbing that you're intending to do. I start off with a general all-rounder. Um, what most mountaineers tend to opt for initially um, for either winter walking, um, big snow climbs, um, or getting onto non-technical, but maybe up to sort of grade two, go least, that kind of thing, even grade three, are a kind of classic 12-point crampon. This is a black diamond sabre tooth. Um, the, what identifies them as the 12-point the um, on this are a kind of classical crampon, these horizontal uh, initial front points, and then counting down, we can see another sort of set here, another set, so a sort of third set, fourth um, fourth set, uh, fifth set, and this is a sixth set just in set there. So six pairs, 12 points um, right the way down. Um, the key sort of features on here are the two traverse sets that are effectively your brakes. They're the ones that are actually braking when you're actually sort of descending uh, down a mountainside. They've got integrated anti-bots or anti-balling plates that stop the snow building up. Any other sort of feature on a, a good kind of crampon like this, it's quite often you'll see that the, the points are very slightly flared outwards. Um, so it's going to be less likely to act like a cookie cutter um, and absorb snow underneath. As far as the sort of fixings, um, if you want a fairly universal kind of fixing system, plastic toe bell um, in this case that would fit on the front of a boot. So a mountaineering boot, like a B3 boot, would fit on there. And then on the back, this, uh, on the back there's a clip that always fits into the, um, the sort of back ledge on the back of a B3 or even a B2 boot. Um, so that's your sort of 12 point crampon, ideal for big snow climbs, uh, Scottish winter, um, winter walking in Lake District, um, the Mont Blancs, the Aconcagues, the Island Peaks, Mirror Peaks um, of the world, that kind of thing. If you're in ski touring, you might want to go for, um, again, um, a good crampon, um, but a lot, lot lighter. So you can go down to um, a 10 point or even a sort of 12 point alloy crampon, a lot, lot lighter. The minute you go into an alloy crampon, it's got exactly the same features, maybe slightly less points. Obviously, if you've gone for a 10 point, such as this one, has got the anti-balling plates, but it's made out of a lot, lot lighter alloy. So the minute you go on to mixed ground or technical ground and this touches rock, there's a chance of breaking or even snapping these off. So where the weight is absolutely crucial, an alloy or ski touring crampon can be great, but be very, very careful on what terrain you use it. If you were to take an alloy crampon onto, for example, the Matterhorn or Mont Blanc, where you're going to be touching rocks and climbing over rocks, um, you're very, very likely to damage it and it might um, compromise your ascent. So be super careful on that. If you want to go a little bit more technical, um, so you're getting into your ice climbing or you're wanting one kind of crampon that does most kind of terrains. Um, this is a, a great example. So this is a Gravel G14. The thing you'll notice about the semi-technical crampons is these vertical front points. So compared to the mountaineering crampon that had the horizontal front points, these vertical points put your weight concentrated into the ice or into the snow and help dig in. You'll notice also on a, on a sort of semi-technical crampon or um, a very good 12-point crampon, quite an aggressive second point of, of contact. So that once those front points, whether horizontal or vertical, is in this case, uh, are into the, into the snow or ice, you can push your heel down slightly and lock in those second points. So you've got a good point of contact. Underneath, exactly the same um, as a, a standard so 12 point. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 uh, sets of points underneath. So essentially a 12 point crampon, but with vertical, vertical front points. As far as the binding system, very similar to the saber tooth, heel clip at the back and a, a toe bell, plastic toe bell at the front. So a very universal kind of binding system that'll work well. And then when you want to go on to more technical ground still, um, and you're finding that your grade is slightly limited by the kind of crampon, um, or you want sort of harder ice routes, um, you might want to go for something even more technical, so something that's a specific style ice fall crampon, so it can either come in a mono point or a dual front point, such as this one. Again, a longer, more vertical kind of front point system here that can generally be advanced and converted, as you'll see on the sort of um, deck here, to mono point, dual or offset mono point um, settings on there. And again, quite an, a very aggressive um, sort of second set of points here so that they lock very quickly into the ice. Again, on the back, um, a heel clip or pneumatic um, is the, the sort of trade name for the for the clip system there. Um, and you've got a choice on the front um, for most sort of technical crampons of a plastic toe bail that is probably the most universally accepted, accepted kind of crampon um, bail. Or sometimes you'll get a metal toe bail on the front that'll fit through a groove on the front of a, a B3 boot. So those are the three kinds. I hope that's been useful. Um, and if you want any more information, have a look on the Icicle website. It's www.icicle.co.uk. Thanks a lot for listening. Bye for now.